Welcome to Electrified. It's your host, Dylan Loomis. So this race is between China, the United States, and Europe. The number of battery mega factories in the pipeline for the next decade increased from 118 in 2019 to over 200 in 2021. Of that 200, 148 are located in China, whereas Europe has 21 and North America has 11. 122 of these plants are already operational and ramping production. To give you some context, there were only three mega factories being developed in 2015. Of the total capacity of all the lithium ion battery plants either active or under construction, China accounts for 66.9%, while the United States is forecasted to account for 11.9%. China is currently building one battery gigafactory per week and the United States is building one every four months. By the end of this year, 2021, Benchmark expects China to account for 77% of global lithium ion production capacity and 67% by 2030. Back in June 2014, Tesla broke ground on its first gigafactory just outside of Sparks, Nevada. Fast forward four years to mid-2018 and battery production at the gigafactory had had reached an annualized rate of 20 gigawatt hours, making it the highest volume battery plant in the world. At that time, Tesla was producing more batteries in terms of kilowatt hours than all other automakers combined. Tesla was preparing, providing, and managing the land, buildings, and utilities, and Panasonic was actually manufacturing the cylindrical lithium ion 2170 cells and investing in the equipment, machinery, and the other tools based on approval of both parties. And and these two companies were relying on a network of supplier partners that produced the required precursor materials. Tesla would then take the cells and other components to assemble the modules and packs. And listen to this, in 2013, you're looking at some literature from Tesla forecasting 2020 vehicle production figures. Tesla produced nearly 510,000 cars in 2020. For Tesla to predict something so unpredictable seven years into the future to that degree of accuracy is truly incredible. Tesla is targeting 100 times growth in its scale of battery manufacturing, and it's not really a matter of if they will get there, but how fast. You basically need on the order of you know, roughly 10 terawatt hours a year of battery production uh, to transition the, the global fleet of, of vehicles to electric. And the average vehicle lasts 15 years, so we're talking about 150 terawatt hours, give or take, to transition the whole electric, all vehicles of all types uh, uh, to electric. And that 10 terawatt hour number is just for vehicles. Tesla is aiming for an additional 10 terawatt hours for energy. And then on the grid side, uh, we have a similar mountain to climb, 1,600 times growth from today's grid batteries to go 100% renewable on the grid and to take all of the existing heating fossil fuel uses in homes and businesses 100% electric. Yeah, and, and this, this number, I think, uh, might grow even more, depend, uh, you know, as the, the world economy uh, matures and as uh, countries with high populations industrialize, uh, we could see this number be even more. But it's, let's say it's like roughly uh, tw 20 uh, to 25 uh, terawatt hours per year sustained uh, for 15 to 25 years to transition the world to uh, renewable. Tesla is expecting to eventually produce 150 gigawatt hours at Giga Nevada annually, which is 0.15 terawatt hours, but this model is not scalable to achieve the numbers Tesla is striving for. Tesla will need 135 gigafactories to achieve the 20 terawatt hours per year, the 10 for auto and 10 for energy. So Tesla's plan, to create terafactories. The terafactory will have a 10 times smaller footprint per gigawatt hour and be 75% cheaper per gigawatt hour. So a smaller factory will produce almost 10 times as many batteries. And remember these figures, Tesla's Pilot 4680 facility is ramping to 10 gigawatt hours per year as we speak, and that figure was estimated to be reached this year. Tesla's actual production plants are expected to be around 200 gigawatt hours per year plus over time. And so Tesla's plan is to internally, meaning separate from Panasonic and LG and any other cell supplier, produce 100 gigawatt hours in 2022 and 3 terawatt hours per year by 2030. Basically Tesla uh, is, is aiming to be the, the best at manufacturing of any company on earth. Uh, this is the thing that's actually most important in the long run. Eventually every, every car company will have long range electric cars. Um, 
you know, eventually every company will have autonomy. I think, but not every company will be uh, great at, at manufacturing. Uh, Tesla will be absolutely head and shoulders above anyone else in manufacturing. That is our goal. <laughs> I went back in time and found projections for global lithium ion capacity from mega factories before Tesla's battery day announcement. The best projections showed a 2027 gigawatt hours of capacity by 2028 globally or 2.027 terawatt hours. And this is from all three tiers of battery suppliers. As you can see, Tesla is already in the top tier of battery manufacturers along with their biggest partners, Panasonic, LG Chem, and Samsung. Go down the list and take note of the companies you don't see, Ford, GM, Toyota, Honda. And even after Tesla's battery day, Benchmark Mineral Intelligence is estimating a capacity of 3.4 terawatt hours by 2030 globally, which would be a huge increase from the 755 gigawatt hours of global capacity last year in 2020. So based on communicated and publicly available projections, Tesla is aiming to produce internally 3 terawatt hours by itself with global capacity projections today being 3.4 four terawatt hours, leaving 400 gigawatt hours for everyone else. Now look, obviously many other companies are scheming and will announce huge battery factories in the coming years, it's just that so far it's only Tesla, GM, and now Volkswagen that are really the ones to host an actual battery day event. And sadly, without a multi-thousand dollar subscription, Benchmark does gatekeep some of its data so I could not find the actual breakdown of its 3.4 terawatt hour projection for 2030 and what percentage of that they are allotting for Tesla. But we do know that Volkswagen Volkswagen's big reveal promised 240 gigawatt hours per year when scaled, and GM's Ultium battery strategy should yield around 110 gigawatt hours of sales annually when scaled. So this right here is a clear exhibit of what the Tesla community means when we say the competition will not catch up. You can't catch a moving target, especially one that's sprinting without a 100 pound book bag of internal combustion engine baggage. And we can't forget Elon's quote from 2016, the exit rate of cells from Gigafactory will be faster than bullets from a machine gun. Giga Nevada was producing 13 million individual cells per day the last we heard. That's roughly nine thousand cells per minute. An M134 minigun can fire about 6,000 rounds per minute. Once again, Elon making seemingly ridiculously bold statements, and years later, they become reality. And while we don't know the current capacity of Giga Nevada for cell production, based on some math using these figures and other statements, we can assume it's somewhere in the ballpark of 80 gigawatt hours per year. So Tesla's plan to produce 3 terawatt hours of lithium ion cells internally by 2030 is quite frankly beyond the comprehension of most of us. It really is an absurd goal, but as we've seen with Elon and Tesla before, I have the utmost confidence they will find a way to get it done. And unless another automaker pulls a rabbit out of a hat this decade, everyone else is going to be left fighting for scraps. The leverage and vertical integration that Tesla will have by 2030 is astounding, and even once its auto and energy demand stabilizes and its manufacturing capacity exceeds the demand, it will still be able to sell batteries, create new products, and a host of other options. The battery race is the heart of Tesla and the sustainable movement, and whoever wins this race, both from a corporate and a country perspective, will be set up handsomely for decades to come. And you guys know where my money is at. Please take a second to like this video if you did, consider subscribing for more Tesla content, and I hope to see you in the next video. I hope that you have a great day. Day. Until next time.